Happy morning to you. Happy Sunday morning to you. Amen. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We want to welcome you, welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bang. Amen. Yeah. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. So get yourselves ready to receive. Amen. Uh, I've been studying. I've been in there reviewing some more, and I am happy. And if you ain't happy, we've just got to either resurrect you or uh, <laughs> get you saved. Amen. Because yes. uh, it's a great message. Amen. God has yeah. given me a great message. And you know what? Just about a week ago, <laughs> those of you, we want to welcome all those that are viewing right now through audio or video or listening through video or uh, audio. We want to welcome you. Amen. But listen, he has risen. Amen. And listen, if you take it to him, leave it at the cross. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I know you guys that are watching can see this, but those of you that are listening, I've been holding up a little sign that says, leave it at the cross. You know, every time we go out and dump our trash at, at the dumpster, we don't take it back. No. So if we bring something to the Lord, leave it at the cross. Leave it there. Amen. It's his timing, not your timing. Amen. Amen. So just trust him and have faith. Amen. Yeah. And here's, here's another good one. It says, pray more, worry less. Amen. Uh -huh. Pray more, worry less. That's pray without ceasing. Amen. So, hallelujah. That's just a quick <coughs> advertisement here. But anyway, we want to welcome all of those of you that are joining us by audio or video. Amen. Amen. Prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. And God wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we need to be corrected. Amen. Sometimes we get off course, and we need to get back on course with Him. Amen. So, praise God. Amen. What I want you to do is just be prepared to receive what God has for you. Amen. Not for somebody else, what he has for you. Amen. Because I want to receive and you receive for yourself. Amen. Amen. And God is good. Amen. Today's message, we're going to be uh, being grateful. Amen. I know uh, what's going on right now and things happening all the time, circumstances of all kinds. And yours may be different than mine, but you know what? We still have to be grateful. Amen. Yeah. If, you're, if you're a born again believer. You should be grateful Amen. at all times. Amen. So praise God. Let us pray. Father, we just thank you as we come to you, Father. We just thank you that your word will go out, Father, and yes, bless your people. Thank and you. Father, we just thank you that you are with us, Father God. Holy Spirit, Amen. you are welcome in this place at all times. Amen. Amen. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have your way. Have your way in our lives. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. So, soldier of God, grab your sword, grab your Bible. And let's say it like you mean it. Amen. Let me grab mine. Thank you, Lord. Things on top of mine here, but I've got it. It says, right. this is my Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I'm going to confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. You ever heard this? Uh, pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. We used to uh -huh. we used to uh, be uh, children's pastors, and we always used to tell the, the children, if you hear that, and if you're the first one to stand up, <laughs> you'll get a surprise. You'll get a prize. Amen. So pay attention, and you know what? He's gonna bless you. He's already yeah. blessed you. As a matter of fact, I'm getting way ahead of myself, but you know what? You're too blessed to be stressed. Yes, yes. Amen. You know why you're stressed? Because you want to be. Yeah. Come on now. Ooh, yeah. Still love, Pastor. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, <yeah. laughs> hallelujah. So anyway, hallelujah. Welcome, Praise everybody. God. Be grateful. Give thanks with a grateful Praise heart. God. Amen. With a grateful heart. You know what? Yeah. If you're going to have an attitude, have an attitude of gratitude. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on now. <laughs> Let me take these off. <laughs> it's a good thing. Here's a song we used to sing all the time, but it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. It is a good thing to give yeah. thanks unto Him. Father, you know, you wake up early in the morning. First thing you want to do is open your eyes. That's your first miracle. You 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 got a wake up call. And you woke up and you open those eyes and you can say, Father, thank you. Even before you get out of bed. Father, thank you. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. Psalms 92 and 1. We're going to have a slide for you here in a few minutes. Few minutes. But anyway, be grateful and give him thanks. Yes. And this is what it is all about. Amen. John 3.16. Amen. John 3.16. For God so loved the world. Go ahead, Carmen. Amen. Give me the first word. Here we go. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his mercy and his love endureth forever. 
One more. Okay, here we go. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. So we're going to be talking about being grateful and we're going to be talking about giving. Yes. And you know what? For God so loved the world, he gave. Yes, he did. He gave his only, only, only son, his only yes. begotten son. Thank Amen. Lord. So that's how much he loves you. Amen. So we need to give of ourselves. Amen. Yes. Thank Praise you, God. Thank you, Lord. Believers should be giving thanks to him on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Not just once in a while, you know, or when you think, you know, maybe once a year, but on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and change that, Carmen. The gratitude of the best attitude of gratitude is the best attitude for you to have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. You know, I've had attitudes, but they were bad attitudes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm sure you have some yourself. Yeah. But, you know, instead of having a bad attitude, mm -hmm. the best attitude to have is yeah. an attitude of gratitude. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. This is what an attitude of gratitude changes. Mm -hmm. It changes your depression to joy. Yes. And the Bible says the joy of the Lord is your it's strength. strength. Yes. Amen. Yes. Woo. Come on now. Amen. Says it changes a frown to a smile. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you really need this. <laughs> we need to practice putting a smile on your face. It makes you perk up. It makes you uh -huh. look much better. Amen. Or right. oh, a frown is worse, you know. So frown uh attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Come on now. So believers are called to be grateful and thankful. People. Amen. Yes. Ooh, come on. Yes. Here we go. Look at this. First Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18 says, Be joyful sometimes. Always. 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 Be joyful always. Pray continually. Pray without ceasing, the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says, Give thanks in all circumstances. Well, you know, you don't understand coronavirus <laughs> going on right now, you know. Well, what your circumstances is. Yours is different than mine, but everybody is concerned about coronaviruses right now, amen? But it says, yes. give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus, amen? Yes, amen. Woo, First amen. Thessalonians uh, 5, chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, amen? So in all circumstances, whatever it may be, you know, it covers everything, yes. you know? People yes, think that... Uh, well, Jesus missed, you know, and this is a new thing. Mm -hmm. And he forgot about this. Mm -hmm. He didn't forget about anything. That's right. Everything was covered. Yes. It's under the blood. Amen. 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 Woo. Come on now. Lord, <laughs> uh, and giving thanks to God. Keep going, Carmen. Well, this is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5. Uh, again, he says, always be what? Joyful. 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 Amen. <laughs> You scare somebody if you turn out to be joyful sometimes, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> Never stop praying. Uh -huh. Always pray. Amen? You know, hey, during the day, while you're laying down, going to bed, pray. You wake up in the middle of the night, pray. Yes. Always pray. Amen? <laughs> and what? Be, be thankful. thankful. Always, always be thankful. Yes. Lord, thank you. If you don't know what else to say, just say, yes. thank you. Thank you. Amen. Yes. He knows. You know what? He knows your heart. He can read your heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Be thankful. Go on, one more time. This is the day. Here we go. <laughs> be thankful. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad, glad in it. Mm -hmm. Okay? There's nothing sad about this. Oh, but you don't know. Oh, tomorrow is Monday. And Monday's bad. You know, I can't wait for Friday because everybody knows. Thank God it's Friday because the weekend is here. Hallelujah. Well, you know what? Thank God for every day. Every day. Especially yes. if you got a wake up call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the day the Lord has made. Which yes. day? Whatever day you're in. And this is the day the Lord has made. And I'm going to be glad. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Amen. So this is your choice. This is. Whatever it is, you know, I don't care what you're going under, you know, what you're going through. Yes. God wants you to be rejoiceful and be glad. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So, whatever excuse you have, don't use it. Mm -hmm. Too many excuses. Just forget it. <laughs> 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 Let every day be a day to give thanks. So, forget about coronavirus. Mm, amen. amen. I've told you this, and I'll tell it to you again. Go ahead, Jesus. You know, uh, Jesus went to the cross. Yeah. He didn't make an excuse That's to go right. to the cross. Amen. Many times, you know, when he needed strength, he went to the Father. Mm -hmm. And we need to go to our Father as well. You know, we need amen. strength. Whatever it is that you need.
God will provide. And when he says provided, he's given us everything. Right. And we can do all things through him. All things. And you know, Paul and Silas, I think I told you last week, but he says they they were beaten mm. and they were put in a dungeon mm -hmm. way down. You know, I mean, they was in bad shape. But still, in the midnight hour, they started worshiping God. Yes. Hey, have you ever tried that? Have you ever mm -hmm. done this? You know, worshiping God, and guess what? God heard, yes. and God showed up and delivered yes. them. Amen. So you know what? Whatever you're going through, it doesn't matter. It's coronaviruses or whatever you're going through. Lord, thank you, Father, for touching these people, healing these people, yes. Father God. Yes. Whatever they're going through, Father, meet all their needs. Amen. Yes. Praise God. It's mighty good. Praise Amen. Yes, yes. All the time. All the time. Not sometimes. He says, this day is the day I have made. It says rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Amen. So whatever circumstance you're going through, just let it go. Just let it go. Give it to him and leave it at the cross mm -hmm. and just walk away from it. Yes. Say, Lord, I'm thanking you. I'm trusting you. I have faith that it's going to be done. It's yes. done. It's a done thing already. Yes. Praise Thank God. Praise and this God. is Psalms 92 and 1. I told you here a few minutes ago. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. It is a good thing <laughs> to give thanks unto the Lord. And to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Hallelujah. You know what? Book of Psalms is a book of songs. You just sing. Pray for passion. <laughs> it just come out. <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Yes. So give thanks and praise him for blessings, for blessing us so abundantly. And, and and I've told you this already. You're too blessed to be stressed. Yeah. You know why you're stressed? Because you're trying to carry it on by yourself. Amen. Uh -huh. If you're giving it to him. Let it go. All that weight, all that extra stuff, just let it go. Amen. I'm to know I'm talking to somebody. Somebody out there. Amen. Give it to him. Let it go. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Psalms 92 and 1. Everybody hung up when they heard me singing that. <laughs> there we go. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to, give, and to sing praises unto thy name, almost high. You know, sing unto him and let him know how much you love him. You know? uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day. Oh, I love you so much. One more coming? Yes, thank you, Lord. God is good all the time. Psalms 36 and 1. You can write these down. You can go check them out. Amen for yourself. But it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is what? Good. He is good. good. For his mercies endureth forever. forever. God is good. Don't tell me God has done something bad to you, okay? Because he don't have anything bad to give you. That's right. That's right. He don't have no sickness in heaven to give you. He don't have nothing, nothing bad to give you except good things. Amen. Amen. As a matter of fact, our next uh, scripture. Keep going, friend. Uh, no, not that one. But uh, John ten ten. It's I know it's there. John ten ten says, "Here we go. Here we go. The thief, the devil, whatever you want to call it. You know, the devil is not that little hot stuff, uh, little red devil. You know, when in a, in a devil suit. You know, the little cartoon you used to see all the time. But the thief." Does not come except to what? Steal yeah. and to yeah. kill and to destroy. to destroy. He says, I have come uh -huh. that they might have life right. and that they might have it more abundantly. Yeah. This is God. Amen. Yeah. He gave his son uh -huh. and his son gave himself, sacrificed, you know, so that you can have life and yes. have it more abundantly. Thank so you if you don't have an abundant life, you know, it's time to connect with him, you know. Yeah. Say, Lord, if you haven't given your life, it's time to just say, Lord, I. I I've done you wrong. I repent. Yeah. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And start yeah. living for Him. Amen. Yeah. Change, change. You know, change is good. Yes. Amen. Change is good. Yes. And uh, yes. when you make that change, things are going to get better. Amen. Things are going to get better. Praise God. That you might have life and have it more abundantly. Woo, hallelujah. Woo. Mm -hmm. Keep going, Kurt. Philippians 4 and 6 says what? Be careful for, be anxious for what? Nothing, nothing. For nothing, amen. This translation says, 
uh, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with what? Thanksgiving. thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. We can't get away from thanking him. Present your request to God. But it says, be anxious, scratch. It says, be thankful. Yeah. Amen. You never seen it this way before. <laughs> now it's time, you know. Be thankful. Okay, don't be anxious. Let it go. Give it. He says, cast your cares on him because he cares about you. Amen. So why are you still caring? Amen. Give it all to him. Be anxious. Scratch. Be thankful. Amen. So don't be anxious any anymore. Amen. Give it all to him. Woo, hallelujah. I am blessed. I don't know about you. <laughs> Praise God. Keep going. Got a few uh, slides here for you. And uh, reasons we should be grateful and yes. thankful. Amen. Amen. Psalm uh, 100 is a psalm of giving thanks. Yes. Amen. It's a psalm of giving thanks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got it here for you, and I'll, I'll read it to you. But uh, you can turn to your Bible, open your Bible. Remember uh, last week I, I showed you one that says, uh, read me. You know, <laughs> the dusty Bible that says, read me. What's it about? Open me up and read me. <laughs> yep. But it says, make a joyful noise. To the Lord, all ye lands, serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gladness. Come before his presence with singing. singing. Amen. Complaining? No. Singing. singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Amen. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So now we have the right to enter his gates with thanksgiving mm -hmm. and into his courts with praise. Mm -hmm. All the time. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is what? Good. Good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Yes. Try to come. Thank you, Lord. Here we go. Psalms 100 and verse 4 says what? Enter his Enter gates with thanksgiving. If you're going to go before God, before you start to complain, it, won't you enter with thanksgiving? <laughs> Lord, I just want to thank you. <laughs> God, we just want to thank you. Amen. You know, if you get to thanking him, you'll forget about the complaint. <laughs> just let the complaint go. Amen. But with thanksgiving, into his court with praise. You know, some of you have never tried this before. You know, some of you need to put your Jesus glasses on. Put your oh, Jesus yeah. glasses on. <laughs> And thank him. Oh, Amen. Yeah. These are my Jesus glasses. I know you'd like to have some. <laughs> but it says, I want to praise him. Amen. Mm -hmm. I want to praise him and thank him. Thank him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God, God. Jesus is awesome. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And bless his name. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say this. Don't pass out, okay? <laughs> Believers should rejoice and be glad and give thanks. Always. Yes. Or, you know, daily. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis. We're talking believers now, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> believers should be the happiest, yes. most joyful people on yes. earth. That's it. Amen. Why? Because <laughs> we're blessed. Yes. Because we serve the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Uh -huh. And He's provided for us. And we have a, uh, a everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And we know, I don't care what's going on, what circumstances is going on in this world. We know we have eternal life. And we yes. should be happy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Praise God. Believers, we are too blessed to be stressed yes. Yes. or ungrateful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to be ungrateful. Amen. Praise God. God is awesome. You know this uh, banner here, what does it say? The way. the way. He is the way. He yes. is the only way to the Father. Yes. Amen. Amen. It says, nobody comes to me except Amen. through him. Through Jesus. Amen. Yes. He is the way, the yes. truth, and the life. Nobody yes. goes to him except through Jesus. Yes. Amen. So, hey, yes. if you're a child of God, you know, hey, I just want to thank you. Yes. You know, for life, as long as you're here. And even when we get to heaven, we're going to praise him some more. Yes. Amen. Yes. Woo. Yes. I'm, yes. I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> Psalms 103. Well, I'm going to read you all kind of happy things. So, you know, if you, <laughs> if, if you tuned in and listening or watching <laughs> and you want to be sad well you better get glad because you ain't going to hear nothing sad it's all good news you know we are the good news yes. we take the good news yes. to a sad world uh -huh. we take the light 
to yeah. a dark world. Yeah. Amen. So you're yes. not going to hear nothing sad here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise Psalms 103 God. verses 1 through 5 says this. It is a praise unto God. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, yes. and all that is within me, yes. bless yes. his oh, holy yes. name. Amen. You are an awesome vessel for God. Amen. Amen. Just remember this. Remember this. You know, because you've been told you're nobody. Yeah. You know, the enemy's found enough people hmm. to gather around you and let you know that you're nobody. Hmm. You know, but you are somebody. Because yes. God put you here. Amen. Amen. You know, you're not a mistake. You're not an accident. You are somebody. You're blessed. Amen. You're blessed to be a blessing. And verse 2 says, Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. Yes. Amen. Yes. Who forgiveth all your iniquities, yes. sins, who healeth all your diseases, mm -hmm. sicknesses, illnesses. Amen. That includes coronaviruses. That's right. Or whatever else comes later on. Uh -huh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, and by your stripes I am healed. Amen. 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 If you got anything in your body right now, touching your body, attacking your body. I just cancel that. Not by my power, by his power. Yes, he says, yes. by Jesus' stripes, you yes. are healed. Amen. Yes. So you just touch that body wherever you're aching, you know, yes. and just say, by yes. Jesus' stripes, I'm healed. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Be grateful. Mm -hmm. Amen. He took the wounds in his body. Mm -hmm. By his stripes, we are healed. He yes. took the, the, the stripes on, on his back. He took yes. the stripes on. So he says, so that we could be healed. Yes. So believe his word. Amen. And verse 4 says, who redeemeth your life from destruction, yes. who crowneth you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Amen. And verse 5 says, who satisfy your mouth with good things, yes. so that your youth is renewed as like the eagles. Amen. Amen. I want my youth renewed like the eagles. Yes. Amen. Thank New feathers to fly, to soar. Amen. Thank you. you know, when you get full of the word, you just want to float wherever you go. And be a witness for him, you know, and just let people know they need to hear the good news. Yes. And you know what? We are his body. We are the church. Mm -hmm. Not this building. Mm -hmm. We are the church going somewhere to happen and be yes. a blessing for somebody. Mm -hmm. Bringing good news to people that are lost yes. and don't know any better. They got a reason to be sad because they don't know the good news. Right. But you got the good news. You yes. got a reason to be happy. But you know what? It's not for you to hold it to yourself. Mm -hmm. It's for you to go and share. Yes. Share the word of God, amen? Mm -hmm. Be a witness, you know? You get, a lot of us have been tested, and you have an awesome testimony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he wants you to share your testimony with somebody, mm -hmm. amen? He wants those people delivered, amen? Mm -hmm. Just like you were delivered, amen? Woo, come on now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I said enough amens for you already. <laughs> <laughs> Give thanks because the Lord, <clears throat> because the Lord, he what? Forgives, has forgiven all our sins, mm -hmm. healed all our diseases, yep. sickness, illnesses, redeemed us from destruction. Mm -hmm. Amen. From destruction. The yeah. enemy comes to steal, to kill, yeah. and to destroy. Yeah. He says, I come that you might have life and life more abundantly. Amen. Saves us from the pit of hell. Amen. Yes, <laughs> Hallelujah. He gives us his uh, loving kindness and mercies. Yeah. You know, wherever you go, remember this. <laughs> You're walking in his love and his compassion. Mm -hmm. His love and compassion can help people. Yes. You know, you feeling sorry for people, it's not going to help any. But when you walk and you have the love and compassion of God, yes. it's going to bless them. It's going to bless them. It's going to help them. Amen. And that's yes. what they need. He don't want you to feel sorry for them. He wants you to have that love and compassion of His. Yes. Show. Amen. Amen. Gives us plenty of good things. Yes. Amen. He says that we can do all things through him. Mm -hmm. We can do all things through all him. Things. Amen. He renews our health and our strength. Just like you is renewed. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. More reasons. There's more reasons to be give thanks. Mm -hmm. Let me see, Carmen. Go ahead. Thank you, Lord. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. Right. But a power of love and of a sound mind. You know, so many people right now are walking in fear. Mm. Why? You know, we should be walking in faith. Yes. Knowing that by his stripes you're healed yes. of whatever sickness is going around mm -hmm. or whatever circumstances happen to be mm -hmm. you happen to be in. Thank you, Lord, that I have a way out. I already have a way out. I'm out of this. Yes. Because Jesus paved the way. Yes. He is the way. Thank you. I'm out of this. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. So I don't have a spirit of fear. I've told you this. I'll say it again. Get full of the word. 
Yeah. You have to figure out and get the same thing. Yes. You know, when you get part of the word, your faith increases. That's it. Faith Amen. We walk by, by faith word. and not by sight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> we walk by faith and not by fear. Right. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. The more word in you, mm -hmm. the better you are. Yes. Amen. So what can I do about it? Get the word in you. Yes. Open the Bible. Read the read the word. Amen. Spend time with him. Amen. Read more reasons to be thankful. We ain't going to finish this. And we're not trying to finish this. <laughs> Give thanks for his presence in your life. Yes. Amen. People deserve it. Friends, so-called friends, you know, let me tell you about friends. <laughs> no, let me tell you that. Let me tell you about some friends. I pray and ask the Lord to deliver me from my enemies, and I started losing friends. Oh, yeah. Now, <laughs> You know, God knows, but you know, He's there for you. He wants yeah. to help you. He wants to help Lord. you. Amen. Ooh, come on now. Jesus. People will leave you. People will abandon you. People will talk about you, yeah. and they'll come and tell you about their friends. Uh huh. And they'll spend time with you, and when they leave you, mm -hmm. they'll go talk to their friends about you. <laughs> come on now. So be careful how you use that word. Mm. Jesus is the best friend you can have. Amen. Amen. The Lord is with us at all times and in all situations. You know, hey, you feel yourself, you feel all by yourself. You feel like everybody's left you. Mm. But if you're spending time with him, you won't feel by yourself. Right. You know that he's with you. He says, I'll never leave you nor protect yes, yourself. That's right. Amen. I've got a scripture here for you. The Lord has never left us or forsook us as, as Noah. Moses, Abraham, oh, Gideon, Jonah, you know, all these Bible heroes, God never left them. He was always with them. And guess what? Even with Jesus, yes. the Father was always with him. Yes. Amen. Amen. But you got to spend time with him and make time for him. If you don't make time for him, guess what? You're on your own. That's it. I've said it many times, but you're no match. Part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. That's it. He's consistent. Yes, He's he persistent. Huh. And you need to be the same. Mm -hmm. You know, get in the Word. Spend uh -huh. time with Him. Study. Yeah. You know, if you don't. You know, if you're doing this only part-time, once in a while, you know, <laughs> you go to church, you know, maybe on Christmas, maybe on Easter time. <laughs> you know, maybe on Father's Day, Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. hmm. Part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. We yeah. fight a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. Amen. You need the full word of God. You yes. need the full armor of God. Amen. On Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Come Thank on. God. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. Woo. Hallelujah. I like that. Thank Leave it right there. Hebrews 13, chapter 13, 5 and 6 says, Let your conduct be without covetousness yes. and be content with such things as you have. Yeah. For he himself, he himself, Jesus himself says, uh -huh. I will never leave you, and I will never forsake you. Yeah. I'm always with you. Uh -huh. Amen. He's always with you. If you feel lonely, maybe it's time you open up and spend time with him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But we need to. He said he's knocking. Uh -huh. When he knocks, that means you got to open up for him yes. to come in. If you don't yeah. open up, somebody come to your house and knock on the door. You open the door for somebody to come in. Yeah. He said, he said knocking at your heart. And he wants to come in, but we said, no, no, no. We don't let him in. Mm -hmm. For you fighting this battle by yourself, and you're no match to the enemy. You're no match to this world. Amen? <laughs> come on, you need to let him in. It's time. Amen. It's time. Now's the time. When's the right time? Now's the time. Mm -hmm. Amen? Let him in. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Verse 6 says, so we can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what can man do to me? Mm -hmm. What can man do to me? Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. God is with me. Yes. Amen. He is with me at all times. Mm -hmm. So this is the boldness. This is the faith that we need. You know, stir yourself up. Stir yeah. yourself up in the things of God. Amen. And be strong in him. Amen. I'm strong in him. Not in myself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I've in myself I can't defeat this world. Right. Through him and his word, mm -hmm. I can defeat it. Amen. He's undefeated foe anyway. Yes, you just got to remind him. 
2 Timothy 1 and 7 says, What? For God that has not given us a spirit of fear, uh -huh. but of power, love, and of a sound mind. We just saw that. And Psalms 23. Uh -huh. His presence is always with us. Yes. He is our shepherd. Yes. He is our shepherd. He's our pastor. Yes. Amen. We're his people. Amen. You see that slide, those of you that are watching, it says Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I yes. shall not. One. Oh, Amen. Psalms 23, 1. Uh -huh. So he is, his presence is always with us. Amen. Yes. You know, when you spend time with him, you'll know him. You know, he knows his sheep. Yes. Amen. Knows he him. knows his sheep. Praise God. Amen. Keep going. Please. Psalms 91. Psalms 91 is about a safety of abiding in the presence of God. Yes. Amen. So, Whatever's happening, whatever circumstance is going on, the hot thing right now, <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> Psalms 91 and 1. He dwells in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide yes. under the shadow of the Almighty. Almighty. Amen. Yes. The Almighty. So, yes. hallelujah. Praise God. Thank he you, is Lord. there for you. He is. He wants to protect you at all times. Yes, Amen. Praise God. Exodus 33 and 4 says, Lord replied, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go, he says, I am with you. Amen. And I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. Amen. And keep going. Oh, yeah, okay. Keep going. Here we go. Rest. What's rest? Reflect. Uh, engage. Surrender. Uh, and trust him. That's what we need to do. Uh -huh. Trust him. Amen. And he'll give us rest. Hallelujah. Keep going, Kirk. Here you go. I want to read this to you here in a few minutes. Give thanks for the protection in our lives. Uh -huh. I want you to know, those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, I'm going to read it to you. But listen to this. My God still what? Speaks. Yes, he does. My God still heals. Yes. My God still comforts. Yes. My God still provides. Yes. My God still creates. My God still restores. My God still redeems. My, still, my God still manifests. My God is I am, Amen. not I was. Right. Okay. Some of us treat him, you know, like a spare tire. Mm -hmm. It was. And they say, I'll take him out whenever. Mm -hmm. No, he's not. He says, I am, yeah, I am. not I was. Right. <laughs> Amen. Thank so Lord. praise God. I want you to know this and see this, you know, so that you could know he's still doing all these yes. things. You know, I don't know who you're listening to, but if they said anything different from this, or if they said anything different from what the Word of God says, mm -hmm. don't believe it. Right. Amen. Delete it. You know, you don't have to accept everything you see on Facebook or everything you see on the on the uh, oh, internet. Yes. Yeah. You know, delete, delete, yeah. delete. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because some people say some things that are not true. <laughs> some people lie. <laughs> the enemy is the biggest liar. Yes. And enemy uses people yes. just like God uses people. Yes. Amen. So yes. I want you to know this. Praise God. Uh, he's a liar. Mm -hmm. And the father of lies. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you don't have to believe that. You know, if you get full of the word and study the word, somebody tells you something different from what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. That's not what the word of God says. Let me show you what the word of God says. Yes. Amen. You go to the Word of God and you show them what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. This is the right thing. Yes. Or, you know what? You just stick it on the shelf and press delete and get rid of it. You know, because I, I don't have to accept right. a lie. I don't have to accept anything less than what the Word of God says. Amen. Amen. But you know what the Word of God says. You have to know what the Word of God says. That means you got to be a, stu a, a student of the Word. Yes. You got to be reading the word yes. and spending time in the word. Amen. Yes. Yes. So be grateful and give thanks for his protection in our lives. Yes. There are many dangers in this world mm -hmm. and yet God protects us. Yes, he does. Amen. He says he is God on the mountain yes. and he is God in the valley. Yes. So whatever mountain you're on, hallelujah, he's God. But whatever yes. valleys you're going through right now, mm -hmm. know that God is with you. Yes. He's the same God. Amen. Yes. You, and you know what? <laughs> We're not staying in the valley. Yes, we're God. climbing up. We're going yes. up. Amen. Amen. <laughs> One of the things 
Jesus does, nature, natural thing he does is he rises. Yeah. So we're going to rise with him. You give him the word of God. And you know what? He's going to, he's risen. So yes. we're going to rise with him. Amen. Don't stay in the valleys, you know. You, That's not for you. Hey, this is not for me. This is not what God wants for me. Mm -hmm. This is not God's best for me. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not staying here. That's right. You, if you stay in there and you're in the pits, you know what? That's where you want to be. Mm -hmm. That's where you want to be, yeah. not where God wants you to be. Because right, right. God has better things for you. Yes, Says yes. He had great plans for you. None yes. of them include defeat. That's None right. of them include for you to scratch with the chickens. Mm -hmm. He said He wants you to soar in with the eagles. Yes, yes. Up in the air. Yes. Soaring. Praise yes. God. Thank you, Lord. Come on now. <laughs> God's protection has kept us alive so far. He is the reason we've gotten this far. Yes. You didn't get here by accident That's or right. by your means, you know. Yes. Oh, look what I've done. Well, it's time to start magnifying him and giving yes. him, being grateful for what he's done. Amen. You know, we change that attitude instead of putting yourself on the throne, yeah. take yourself off the throne and put yeah. him on the throne yeah. and have an attitude of gratitude yeah. and say, thank you. Thank you, Father. Yes. Woo, come on. Yeah. Remember the dangerous situation we faced in the past and how God has protected us. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what he's brought you through. Yes. Amen. But you know what? He brought you through. Yes. It passed. Let it go. And don't let the past keep you in prison mm -hmm. for the rest of your life. Let the past mm -hmm. go and press on with the things of God. Mm -hmm. You know, when you make a change and you're doing a bad face, this is a new day in Christ. Yes. He says the old is gone, the new is in. Yes. Amen. So don't let the past, don't let people, <coughs> family, friends yes. hold you in the past. I'm a new creature in Christ. Amen. I'm pressing on with God with new things. If they want to stay in the past, let them. Yeah. But yeah. you know, hey, you could have, you could, you could, you could have, you could share Jesus with them, and they can make a change themselves. Yes. Praise God, Amen. Thank Come you. on now. <laughs> Proverbs three and uh, twenty six in the easy to read version says this: You can trust the Lord to protect you. He will not let you fall into harm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm reading you these in the easy to read version so that you can understand them better. But Psalms 91, 3 and 4 says this. God will save you from the hidden dangers and from every deadly disease. Mm -hmm. You can go to him for protection. He will cover you like a bird spreads its wings over its babies. You can trust him to surround and protect you yeah. like a shield. Amen. Amen. Like a shield. Mm -hmm. He's there all the time to do this for you. Amen. Amen. So <laughs> Praise God. it's time that we start mm -hmm. finding out who he is, who our father is. Yes. And you know, it, it, that's when you start finding out, when you get in the word and you start finding out what the word of God says, not only find out what the word of God says, when it starts coming out of you and you start speaking the word of God, the enemy says it's going to flee. Because you submit yourself to God, resist the devil now, and he's going to flee. He's got to go. You know what? There's no, no more room for the devil. He's got to go. Praise God. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. We're going to be closing here in a few minutes. Psalms 21, Psalms 121, verses 3 and 8 says this. He will not let you fall. He's your protector. Will not fall asleep. Israel's protector does not get tired. Mm. He never sleeps. The Lord is your protector. The Lord stands by your side, shading and protecting, protecting you. Mm. The sun cannot harm you during the day, and the moon cannot harm you at night. The Lord will protect you from every danger. He will protect your soul. The Lord will protect you as you come and go, both now and forever. Amen. Well, the Lord keep. Uh, 121, 121 verses 3 and 8. Oh. The Lord will protect you. Amen. And he keeps his word. <laughs> if anything fails, it's because we don't keep our word. Mm. So we need to keep our word also. Yes. Amen. We yes. need to keep our word. Amen. Oh, yeah, Psalms. Uh, that was Psalms 121 uh, verses 3 and 8. The song. Oh, Amen. So we're going to be closing there. Yeah. And oh, we'll continue next week with Lord. just being uh, grateful and thank him for his provisions for our lives. Amen. He provides for us. Amen. Yes, the does. Bible says that he provides all your needs yes. according to his riches and glory. 
at Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on now. He is your provider. Amen. Uh, Philippians 4.19 says, And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory yes, by, by Christ Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Yeah. So, He's provided for you. He's provided for you. Amen. And he's there for you at all times. Amen. Yes. So, yes. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your word. Thank you, Father, that your word goes out and yes. blesses, Father God, and sets free. And Lord, heals, Father. We just thank you, whatever the situation, whatever the circumstances are, Father. We just thank you, Father, that we are growing and glowing and going for you, Father God. And we just give you all praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name. I know I prayed about this earlier, but, you know, if, if you're hurting, just touch that part of your body. Mm -hmm. Amen. And just say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. By your stripes, I'm healed. I'm healed. Amen. Amen. I'm healed. You know, just have faith and trust and believe that by Amen. Jesus' stripes, you are healed. Amen. Amen. So speak the word and you shall be healed. Yes. Amen. So praise God. We just thank you for that, Father. Yes. Anyone out there, this is your first time. Amen. This is your first time you've ever accepted Jesus. You know, all you have to do is just say, Father, for I've sinned against you. I repent. I ask you to come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And you know what? He's not going to turn you down. You know, people turn you down. Mm -hmm. People uh, will, will just uh, hate you and people say lies about you and all these other things. But you know what? God will never leave you nor forsake you. Yes. Amen. Right. He wants to receive you. Amen. Yes. And he wants you to receive him as Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes. So you say it. Confess it with your mouth. Yes. Amen. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. And you know what? As of today, you'll be saved. Yes. Amen. And you get in the word and start studying the word and start going and glowing for Jesus. Amen. Yes. Get into a, by, uh, a, a church, you know, where you can uh, fellowship and 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 uh, and study the word. Amen. Yes. And learn and go with, for him. So praise God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. I don't know about you. I preach myself happy. <laughs> if you're not, so we still need to pray for you. Amen. Amen. Praise so God. it's time to give. Yes. For those of you that are watching or listening. If you'd like to give your tithe or offering, you can still do that. We thank you for helping us during these uh, trying times. So you can go to your website, or you can go to our website. It's on the screen. Amen. It says NBCBigBen.com. There's a donate button there that you can, uh, or you can mail it to NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. Amen. Again, thank you, and God bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen.